Oh hi Okazamash, I am Kitty and today I'm going to show you how to make a banner for the one channel layout of YouTube, the new one. So first of all, the goal of this video is not to show you how to do extremely professional, crazy stunt graphic tricks, and it's more so about showing you how to you know deal with the new one channel layout and how to make a very basic banner that you can use immediately right away. If you want to go more crazy with the styles and the filters and the effects, that's on some of my other tutorial videos. But this one is just more about how to deal with this whole thing. Okay, first of all this video is definitely for beginners and up. It's going to take you about 10 minutes to make your background depending on how much stuff you're going to put on it but about 10 minutes so basically the duration of this video pretty much what you're going to need is either photoshop or paint you can obviously also use gimp but i'm not going to show how gimp works i'm going to show you how it works with photoshop or paint because those are just more popular pretty much what else you're going to need is a little bit of an idea as to what you want to put on your banner and obviously resources of your liking which could be specific fonts or pictures of specific characters or things you want to put on your banner. Um, I would recommend that you use things that are free of copyright so stuff that you made by yourself like in my case my kitty OC. but if you don't have anything or if you have for example a gaming channel and you want to show some of the games you're playing there's a few links below in the video description in case you feel like getting some resources okay if you want to, sp uh, to jump to a specific part of this tutorial for example where um, the paint part is explained I'm going to put links here that you can click if you have annotations deactivated or if somehow it doesn't work for any other reason feel free to check the video description because I'm going to put the same thing there. Okay, so this video contains a few templates that you can use. First of all I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop and this is basically what you're going to get for the Photoshop part. I know that YouTube has a or Google has a, an official in quotation marks template for this but I made one by myself so they don't have to deal with that surfer in the background and so the lines are straight there were a little few little mistakes there I guess so this is what you're going to get this is the whole overview now we're going to jump directly into Photoshop so I can show you how to work with this and this is basically the thing you have now this is the original Photoshop file that is included in my video description so you can work right off of this. There is a BG check that you can deactivate if you want which is basically just so you can see everything better and so you can check um, how it would look like if you put a character on your template how it would look and if there's white frames or white borders or whatever the hell. Then there's your contents here so this is where you put your stuff. You can you can delete this layer if you're done later on or you can just leave it there because there's not nothing on it as you see. Then there's the whole help thing which means my author tag here that you can blend out the description so the other text and the whole lines. For now just if you want you can remove or blend out the author and the description tags because it's really not too hard to do. So what you would do here is for example make a new layer and fill it with a gradient of some sort. I've seen a lot of people do that. Let's take, for example, a light blue, like so, and a darker blue, like so. Let's quickly make this gradient and fill it into that new layer that I made. Important. And let's wait until this is rendered. Takes a little bit. So my computer just has a lot of stuff open right now and there we go so let's say this is what you want to go with then what you want to do is take characters such as this I made this 
So let's put this here. And close it. Nope, we don't need to save. Arrange it a little bit. Stick to mostly this main, uh, this middle square here because this is the area you're going to see everywhere. Okay, so align it here somewhere. So let's try to put him here. Then let's take another character. Let's put him behind like that. Let's take another character like so. Let's put him over on this side maybe. And then let's take another one and put it here. Maybe behind that one. Like so. This is again not a very professional setup in the sense of, you know, it looks like super awesome, but this is just so you get the idea. Okay. Then we take a text layer if you want to. You can also do something else. And let's write my channel. Let's pick a different font because this is hard to read. And let's make it a little bigger. This is where you could put it, for example. Now here's the thing about this new layout. Yeah, and this is the area that you're definitely going to see everywhere. This, from, from this light pink line to this other light pink line, still with the same height, is what you're going to see on tablets. And this whole middle part is what you're going to see on computers with a lot of, like, a big resolution. This whole square is what you're going to see on a TV. So what you want to do is make sure it looks good everywhere and make sure to not accidentally cut things off here or you know align the text somewhere really weird for example down here because that's gonna look just weird if somebody has a bigger display than just this square. So basically don't align your things to these squares for the most part just take it as a little help pretty much. So in this case, this would definitely work. Now what you would want to do is deactivate this so it's gone. Save it as a JPEG. There is so far no restriction as to how big your image can be. So it means it can be as big as you want. This might change in the future, we don't know. But in any case, save it as a JPEG. You might have to save it as a PNG depending on how many colors you use, but you use if you use a lot of, uh, like, not exactly pixel art, just stuff with a lot of color and a lot of gradients and a lot of transparency and god knows what, you might want to use JPEG, so anything that's kind of like a photograph, a lot of colors, like with photographs. I recommend a 10 quality because 12 is usually you barely see a difference and it's just way bigger. This is 200 kilobits that's gonna be okay so you just save it that's pretty much how it works for Photoshop okay so the only thing you have to keep in mind is if you blend this, the lines back in is that there's going to be to be an avatar here about here and um, make sure you don't put anything here that you don't want to be covered up okay if you have a 1024 by 768 resolution like I do there's going to be an avatar right here so basically covering off the crown of the gold metal slam here if somebody has a bigger resolution it's just going to be shoved more to the left so just keep it in mind when you're doing your banner well this is pretty much it for Photoshop now if we go and paint let's open yet yeah, in German don't mind the the scripture if we go to paint and pick our little template that I've included here too this is what you get it's basically the same thing it's just that there's no background this is how it's going to work in, in um, paint what you want to do is probably get rid of this first I just leave them or left them there so you can get an idea of what goes where so you just kind of use your marquee tool and then hit delete on the keyboard. It's pretty simple. Same here, you don't need that on your background and you don't need to leave it on there either. And you would basically import anything you want to use. For example, let's use this. Okay, let's arrange it again. Make sure 
that there's nothing here in this area because the avatar goes there. Let's resize this a little. And that. Let's make it transparent. Let's put it, let's say, here. And let's. Oh, what you want to do, by the way, is to fill the area first with a background color. Anything. I don't know, you can take uh, light blue or whatever. And you can fill in just those spaces. Unless you want to leave it white. I do want to leave it white, so. But I feel, feel like I should uh, point it out. So the first thing you would do if you want a background color is to just fill in all those squares with, um, not the lines though, with whatever color you want. In any case, now you could put a text here like the iRock channel. Ooh, made it a bit too small. The iRock channel. Let's use black or a dark blue anyways so you can actually see this. I actually like where this is. So let's put it there. And then what you do in the very end is according to what background color you use, so in my case it would be white, you just fill in these these lines. You just click on the lines and make them disappear. You kinda need a little bit of a steady hand, but it's okay. <laughs> like that. And the lines are gone. Then you would save it again either as JPEG or PNG or whatever depending on the colors. In this case it would make more sense to save it as PNG because it just has a few colors and it's with pixels so let's save it as PNG. And that's pretty much well all you have to do. I'm going to show you a few examples. This is what I did. It's obviously more complex than what I just showed and this is the one that Slim Slimmy or Slim Kirby did. Just a background with, well actually a fading background, like a gradient, with some stars and Kirby and the transparency here, and some text. In my case, checkered background, text, RPM, kitty, there you go. See, this is covering up the part, that's what I mean. I have 1024 by 768 pixels. If you have a bigger resolution, I'm going to show you that now, I'm going to simulate it anyways. If you have a bigger resolution, as you see, the eye gets more free and the avatar just moves over here. Okay? So, again, keep that in mind when you're making your banner. This is. This was actually about the max that you can go. There you go, this is the maximum right now. Because even if you zoom out more, nothing's gonna happen. This is the maximum. Okay? So, again, make sure to. Probably stick any fonts or text you have somewhere towards the middle. If you would have stuck uh, stuck it down here, it would have looked really awkward for people who have this resolution because then it would just be text here somewhere in the middle. So again, try to not align your text to the box so much and more just to the middle. So try to center it, okay? So in any case, if we're going to reset this right now, so we have the normal view again. If you want to change your channel art now, you can, if you don't have one, there's a button here that says channel art. If you already do have something, you can click on this and edit channel art. You can upload a picture. Again, there's no file size restriction as of now. Who knows if that's going to change. You can click here, upload a picture from your desktop, and it's going to, when it's uploaded, it's going to let you crop but if you used my template, there's no point in cropping. You don't need to. So just skip it and just click. There's going to be a button down here that says select. Just do that. And that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do. It's really simple. It's going to take you like 10 minutes at most. And that's about it. I do want to add a little pro tip um, for you making your banners. Tr if you have a Facebook and a Twitter and maybe a website. Try to keep it consistent with all your other banners because it really helps people to recognize you and to brand yourself. I know that a lot of people don't like the changes of this layout because we don't have the sites to do anything anymore with, but if you do this in a smart way you can really stand out still, especially if you keep consistency with your other pages. 
it works. So, other than that, I don't think I need to say much of anything else. Try to not copy other people. Take them as inspiration. Don't just flat out copy them. That's lame. And other than that, if you have any more questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Other than that, enjoy the template, the resources, and everything else. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you next time. Bye. -o.